Hello folks and welcome to another video and uh, if it's a little crooked uh, I guess I'll fix the camera next time. So th this will be the first first smoke of the year and it will be the uh, Macanudo Inspirado and of course as any of you guys know by now you know it's not really a uh, I don't really do much of a review this is a little bit of a out late night smoke so the neighbor's kids are definitely inside. Got my Red Bull. Yes, these guys are a non-woke company. So I'll be supporting Red Bull. And I've always drank Red Bull. Just didn't know they were, you know, non-woke type. Uh, yeah, this is a... Uh, the list has a mild cigar. It does have like an oily sheen on it. So... Uh, Zycar Tri Torch Lighter. I mean, it is the first cigar of the year. You know, I, uh, I may not, you know, probably smoke half of this and then put it away. Uh, There's a slight bitterness to it, so it's definitely, definitely a strong cigar. So in, in recent news, of course, as we all know, the uh, CDC came out with their uh, masks, mask lift with no signs behind it. You know, of course, I, I go to the CDC website to check it out. And you know, I was like, well, you know, let's see what the CDC says. And yeah, there, there wasn't a, a you know we we did it, we did a uh, you know ten thousand people study that was infected with COVID, you know, and it showed that you know uh, uh, <clears throat> this or that, or we did a uh, you know ten thousand or twenty or thirty thousand subject studies who uh, who were uh, vaccinated, and as it turns out, you don't need the you know it turns out they don't need mask, none of that. So, so of course the Biden administration echoing the CDC, coming out saying, "Hey, you know, if you're fully vaccinated, you know, you can take the mask off. You know, dear leader says you're fully vaccinated, you can take the mask off." Now, of course, there was that uh, interview of uh, Gal Sayer and uh, Fauci, and she was confused, and I'm pretty sure the MSN are confused. You know, just as the your average lefties are, are actually, uh, 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 you know, um, they're actually angry at this mass lift. Of well, the Amazon, if you watch the, you know, I only watched the, you know a little bit of it. Didn't watch the whole thing. You can tell all the questions he's asking, the confused look on her face. It's like, you know, why are you guys doing this mass lift now? I, I thought we we're told, you know, we gotta wear two masks. I thought we we're told. We gotta stay inside, you know. <clears throat> Even after you're vaccinated, you still gotta wear a mask. Stay inside, you know. What made you guys change your mind? And he he didn't answer it. He didn't answer that question. <clears throat> you know, if, uh, if 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 you have the, I guess the the uh, uh, mental strength, <laughs> you know, to get on Twitter and Facebook. And of course, all you're seeing from the left is, uh, hey, you know, why are you guys doing this mass lift? You know, we were promised a a, a vaccine passport. You no, know, we want a, we want a vaccine passport. You no, know, we don't want a mask lift. It's burning nice and evenly. Uh, the puff could be a little bit smoother, but then again, or the humidor. That I took this cigar out of was sitting at 66%. And uh, yeah, here in Texas, we've been getting a lot of rain. So uh, it has been pretty humid. It actually feels like Central America, <laughs> you know, where, where the cigar comes from. Or the humidity in your house, you know, sits around <clears throat> mid 60s to mid 70s. Yeah, so you, yeah, you're basically living in a humidor.
not a bad cigar, not bad at all. Like I said, the, the draw could be a little smoother. <coughs> yeah, so basically it is a mask lift. You know, again, you know, uh, the lefties are complaining. You know, how are we gonna know without a uh, vaccine passport? How are we gonna know who's vaccinated and who's not? Well, one, that's none of your business. Uh, so at this point, and of course, this 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 was what I think March twelfth was, was when this uh, news was released from the CDC, and uh, and I don't know why, <clears throat> you know, they suddenly like, hey, you know, if you're fully vaccinated, you can now take off your mask. It's like okay, and people like myself are confused. It's like okay, well, thank you, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Yeah, and this pretty much. You know, at this point, pretty much any business, especially here in Texas, they're still requiring their employees to wear a mask. Uh, any stores, they still got the, uh, you know, mask required signs on your doors. You are at this point violating CDC guidelines. And you're violating the, you know, by the administration, you know, who's going along with the CDC guideline. And the thing is that it's probably about three weeks ago, the first store that I noticed that took the mask required sign off their door was the, the QT gas station. It's the one that, <clears throat> that I normally go to you know, putting gas. And, uh, and of course, I checked other ones out, and uh, pretty much, I guess, all of their stores had the mask required sign off of their door. Get some water. Yes, this, this is a, a bottle in Texas. Osaka, <clears throat> as my mom calls it, Osaka water. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, and then, and then two weeks later, I guess two weeks back, you know, the, I guess there's a shopping strip <clears throat> near here that, that me and wife go uh, shopping at, and all of the small stores. <clears throat> this includes, you know, and this included, you know, Bath and Body Works had the mask required signs off their door, but of course, the all the employees. We're still required to wear some uh, wear a mask. You know, a customer who came in, hey, that that's up to you. You want to wear, it, you don't. And of course, the one big box store that was in the shopping strip uh, was Target, or is Target, and they're still there. <coughs> and of course, they still had the mask required signs on their door. So right now, pretty much. What I've noticed, and this is this is speaking of Texas, and you know, this isn't speaking about California, Michigan, or New York or Illinois. <laughs> it seems just the big box stores <clears throat> that has the uh, mask required signs on their on their doors still. And as we all know, of course, big box big box stores, you know, support. <clears throat> You know they, they 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 want to be the government basically. You know they want you know, they want to be part of this fascism. <clears throat> now speaking of big box, of course I, I guess a week after that, uh, uh, the Home Depot near my house here that I shop at, <clears throat> they took the mask required signs off of their door, <clears throat> and I was like ah yes thank you <laughs> you know. But if you go inside, you still, but 90% of the people are still wearing masks. And, and since, we're, since we're speaking of that, the, uh, what I've noticed <coughs> is that more and more people are wearing cloth masks. <coughs> and I was thinking, okay, why is that? And of course, you know, a box of masks you know, costs you 30 bucks. There's only 50 of them in there. If it's just you and your wife, you wear a mask every day, Let's say you wear two a day. Let's say you, you know, you, let's say you're diligent, you know, and every time you take your mask off to eat and whatever, you know, you, you replace the mask. So, so, so a husband and wife or a couple, you know, you can easily go through two boxes of masks a month. That That's 60 bucks. For a family, kind of like my buddy, you know, he's talking about, yeah, I mean, we're, we're spending about 100 bucks a month on, 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 on paper mask. You know, because it comes again. If it comes down, if it comes.
comes down to buying food or buying paper mask, I'm going to choose food. And I'm not going to let my kid, because I don't have any kids. I got dogs. Dog food is not, <laughs> dog food ain't cheap either. <clears throat> so if it comes down to, you know, your kid going hungry, you know, spending that hundred bucks on mask, paper mask, <clears throat> and, uh, you know, or, or going hungry, or letting your kids go hungry, you know, parents 10 out of 10 times going to choose, you know, feeding their kids. And yes, here in Texas, there are some schools, uh, I would say schools that are like in the uh, non-blue uh, counties, you know, we're talking dollar, you know, um, those kids are of course going to school without mask. If, you're, if, if your kid is in a blue county, then uh, yeah, you're, those kids are still sitting around eight, ten hours a day with mask over their face. And of course, the CDC has says, you know, kids under kids under 12 <laughs> don't need to wear a mask, and it is on their website. It's part of their new their new mask lift update. So basically, what it says is that you know, kids, children 12 plus, you know, who have been fully vaccinated. <clears throat> so basic people, you know, years 12 years old and older who have been fully vaccinated don't need to wear a mask. But also, you know, children who are under 12, <clears throat> which basically means elementary school children, uh, don't need to wear a mask. <coughs> yeah, as I say, it's, it's, you know, this is the first first cigar of the year, and uh, it's a nice cigar. It says nice, nice burn, nice, kind of a peppery ash. Uh, <clears throat> it's not that strong, but like I said, I'll probably smoke it down to probably where the band is, and uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This one's not one of those overly large bands. Uh, it is fancy. It's got gold, you know, gold trims with gold inlays. Uh, the fancy. It, it is raised, by the way. The the, the texture and the uh, and the. <clears throat> So yeah, it, it is a fancy, uh, a fancy band, uh, but I've been saying you know, I don't need a fancy band because uh, <laughs> it's going in the, you know, I'll, after I enjoy the cigar, <laughs> you know, it's going in the trash. Now, now of course, uh, you know, I've been tossing my cigar into the garden because yeah, yeah, it's it's basically you know organic, <laughs> you know you, you, it's it's not like a cigarette where it's got a uh, a butt that's made of a uh, 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 you know uh, non non biodegradable. Uh, uh, now I think yeah, it's it's some sort of because I actually taken the butt of cigars, cut it open. Just to see what that stuff is, just to see what that filter is, and uh, you know, it's, it, it is it is kind of fiberish, and uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of squishy like foam. Uh, so it's a fibery fiberish, squishy foam uh, uh, kind of a material. It's, it's not biodegradable. So if you're so if you're a cigarette smoker and you you toss your cigarette out the window. Toss it on the ground. Uh, that cigarette butt's going to be there for the next, you know, four or five hundred, you know, four or five hundred years, longer. <clears throat> yeah, you'll be there long after you're dead. But I like a cigar. You know, this, this includes the band. The band is paper. So, of course, I don't recommend throwing your cigar out the window, anyways. You know, but if you're at home, you want to toss it into your garden to add it to your, uh, to toss it into your mulch. By all means, it will, uh, <clears throat> you know, it will. It'll probably take take a couple of weeks to bio biodegrade. Uh, if it, if it's in your mulch, a couple of days, and your your cigar is 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 now mulch. Uh, same with the cigar ash. You know, I I flick it into the garden. You know, add it on to the uh, the flowers and, and all that. 
Yeah, so back to mask. Um, <clears throat> and speaking of biodegradable, the the uh, so the, the oceanic NOAA, uh, uh, Nor Northern Oceanic and something graphic <laughs> organization. Uh, they did a study, and they're 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 estimating. Uh, of course, with the human population of uh, you know seven and a half billion people, and everyone's everyone's wearing mask, and yes, everyone's wearing paper mask. <coughs> you know, I wore a combination of <coughs> cloth and paper, uh, but I prefer paper because uh, if I have to, because <coughs> with cloth mask you've got to wash it, you, know, you got to dry it, and <coughs> all that good stuff. And of course, if you know, and if you use a uh, a uh, detergent with uh, with fragrance, you know. Are <laughs> you walking around with like with like uh, you know spring fresh in your face all day? Yeah, the draw could be smoother, man. It's a now it could be the cigar sitting in the humidor for like the last you know six months. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, about, about five to six months. It's been um, what since November. Or October when it started getting cold, I was like, "Hey, last video, you know, last cigar video until springtime when it warms up." <clears throat> yeah, and it's about. Uh, oh, I got my. <clears throat> but it feels nice out here. Uh, I say it's probably about seventy something. Nice, soft breeze. It, it's <laughs> it's very comfortable. There's, and of course, there's no mosquitoes. Uh, there's no bugs to fly in my ear. Or up my nose. I have a buddy. Uh, I have but, but a buddy of mine. He, uh, you know, he enclosed his porch in with, uh, uh, with, uh, with, with the screen. Yeah, you can go buy these uh, uh, screen mesh you know, at Home Depot, or Lowe's, <coughs> and I, I guess if if you know you can actually enclose your porch in, and I guess put a little door or you can cut a slit. You know, into the uh, into the mesh. Uh, the mesh aren't expensive. Now, it might cost you, see, about five. It's, it's about five to seven bucks per roll, and uh, so it might cost you about fifty bucks, <clears throat> depending how big your porch is, <clears throat> or to uh, cover in your porch in the mesh. Like I said, if you want to put a door and just cut a slit, <laughs> you know, you can walk in and out on. And each year you can replace it, and because uh, yeah, because it ain't gonna because because it ain't gonna last. Uh, I guarantee you though, <clears throat> you know a hole or two will start forming. <clears throat> you know and you got you know <laughs> duct tape it up. So yeah, so back to the mask. So basically, they're saying that there, there's about a <clears throat> about hundred and twenty six billion paper mask and cloth mask. In our oceans, and on top of that, there's about 200 billion masks that includes cloth and paper mask in our land, in our landfills. You know, and that's not including the one that's you know in the parking lots, you know, in the streets. And yes, I do see them littering the parking lots and the streets. And these are technically biohazards. They shouldn't be in the landfills. Uh, you know, if if we were serious, these masks should actually be going to be going to the same uh, medical incineration facilities that the uh, <coughs> uh, the hospitals send their their uh, biohazard waste to to get incinerated. But of course, if that's the case, you know, if if we, you know, screw the government, <laughs> if we were serious. You know, that's what we would be doing. Of course, the 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 incineration facility would be running twenty four seven, and they w would not be able to keep up. It's, you know, it's it's that much. It's that much trash. And yes, these masks are made of paper and made of plastic. And as I mentioned in a video that probably got deleted, uh, these masks have microplastics in them. Uh, they also have metal, that part over your nose <laughs> that you can crimp. 
that is aluminum. I'm assuming it's aluminum, and I'm hoping it is not, because it's come from China. You know, how many of us? I haven't done. It. I probably will. You know, uh, one, uh, before I throw throw a mask away, because yeah, there are still some places that will yell at you. And it's like, well, this is, you know, this is the only store that's got this. You know, I got to go and shop here. These assholes want you to wear a mask. They'll yell at you. So you just go in, buy that one thing, get the hell out. <clears throat> you know, yeah, put your face diaper on. <laughs> Guarantee you, <laughs> that is, you know, I'm assuming it's, it's an aluminum strip. Uh, it, 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 it can't be plastic because you can't, you can't squish plastic like that and, and have it stay uh, it, in my opinion, it might be lead. <laughs> yes, you can actually make lead strips real thin, and they are and lead is pliable, just like, just like aluminum. But uh, I'll probably take one apart just to look. And yes, you can tell the difference between lead and aluminum. Uh, if it's lead, uh, yeah, <laughs> throw the whole box away because. Uh, because you're just poisoning yourself with lead. Uh, aluminum is a uh, damn bugs. They're already aluminum is not that healthy for you either. Uh, but but of course, it's, you know, it's it's, it's not uh, not as bad. It's not as bad as lead. Uh, supposedly, aluminum. I think it's, it's not like the aluminum can. It's, it's like the uh, it's like it's like another. It's not. It's like another offshoot of aluminum. It's like aluminum dioxide or. You know, uh, aluminum something. It's not like aluminum, like aluminum can. You know, it's kind of like iron. Uh, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of like iron peel or the iron, uh, uh, iron oxide, not iron oxide. It's kind of like the iron that they put in iron pills. You know, it's it's, it's not the same iron that you know that that that's, that your car is made out of. No. Supposedly, it causes uh, dementia. It's one of the, I guess, causes of dementia. So I, I, I'm not sure um, where or how you would come in contact with this particular type of aluminum. And yes, and why aren't any? Yeah, there are masks being made in the U.S., but they're all the N95 style mask. Uh, <coughs> Another thing, no, uh, uh, you know, all of these paper masks you buy at big box stores, Walmart, Target, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, my dinner's trying to. <laughs> They're all still made in China. Uh, none of them made in the U.S. Uh, and and I have a feeling it's because of liability. Uh, 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 no, no company wants to be li liable because I have a feeling, you know, there are going to be some liability uh, liability lawsuits coming down coming down the uh, <coughs> coming down the uh, the track here. Because if you look, because if you look at the box, the box does say this is not a medical grade mask, and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of folks in the U.S. A lot of companies who do make those N95 masks are probably like, hey, let's try and make a paper mask. And I'm pretty sure one of the lawyers, you know, stepped in and go, no, 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 let's not make paper mask, because uh, uh, unless you want to be part of the of the uh, of a class action lawsuit that's coming down the track, because so what are you going to do? You know, you, <clears throat> are you going to sue the big box stores that are carrying it? You probably won't get, you probably won't get, you probably won't get, you know, far suing Walmart and Target and stuff like that, because they're, they're just carrying it. You know, they didn't make it. You know, are you going to sue the company in China? <clears throat> Good luck. Mm. Nearly burnt myself there. <clears throat> so yeah, so enjoy the mask lift. Enjoy the Biden CDC mass lift. And of course, if you, again, you know, if you go into a store and, uh, you know, a store employees start harassing you, you know, you guys, you guys in the blue states, 
you know, uh, here in Texas, I've not been harassed. I've only been harassed that one time by that by that uh, uh, male mask Karen. Uh, I didn't argue with the guy. You know, I didn't hang around. I, you know, <laughs> after I got my purchase, I was out. Same thing. Don't hang around. Uh, get away from them. Uh, if it's a store employee, you know, don't. You know, especially if they're asking you, well, what kind of health problem do you guys It's none of their business. Uh, you know, by law, they cannot ask you that. <clears throat> or, you know, if, again, if it's a store employee, then, you, then hey, just leave the store. Uh, you know, and I haven't really heard anything, uh, uh, any more incidents, you know, with Bank of America here in Texas. I'm pretty sure they got a a a, a bad a, a bad publicity, <laughs> you know, for what they for what they you know calling the cops on that lady in that Corpus Christi incident. And I don't know <clears throat> if that lady lawyered up and uh, and went after them because technically, because <clears throat> it's kind of a weird technicality. Number one. <laughs> You know, uh, yes, they, they can ask you to wear a mask. Uh, the, you know, the 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 employees there cannot the employees there cannot ask ask you you know what health problems you have. They can't ask you why you you're not wearing a mask. Or do you have a health problem? You know, asking you to leave. Because you're not wearing a mask is again a violation of your uh, uh, of your HIPAA rights, which which is a federal law. So 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 yeah. So the thing is, is that if they call the police, the police shows up and it's like, well, well, officer, we're telling this lady to leave. Why are you telling her to leave? Well, she's not wearing a mask. Well, uh, technically you you know, <laughs> technically you're violating the law, and, you know, because one, you're you're assuming this person's either sick. You're violating their HIPAA rights. Well, they're trespassing. Well, technically, they're not trespassing because number one, you know, again, this 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 is almost a uh, a a a, a, a what's called a, a circular argument where you argue here, here's the cause, comes back up here. So it's like, well, you're asking the lady to leave. She's trespassing, but why is she trespassing? Well, she's not wearing a mask. Well, you're violating her HIPAA rights by asking her to wear her HIPAA rights, and asking, in, 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 you know, in asking her to wear a mask. So we can't force her to leave. But of course, police officers, you know, they, you know, they're there to number one, yeah, people that they're there to enforce the law, but a lot of them don't know the law. And you know, in the case of that lady, the officer should have said, hey, look. Bank of America, we can't ask this lady to leave because you know, based on based on your reasoning, you know, if if she was trespassing, because she's there to rob the bank, yes, we will arrest her for bank robbery. If she's trespassing, she's and she, if she's trespassing, if she's loitering, you know, if, if she's not a customer, if she's just in this lobby, loitering and not doing anything, uh, yes, she's trespassing, but uh, you know, but she is a customer. She's here to withdraw her money, and so one, she's not trespassing. Two, your reasoning, you know, that she's trespassing is actually a violation of a federal law. <clears throat> and yes, Abbott, you know, he's got competition, and I think he is. Now I bought his dumbass the last two times. But uh, you know his his elections coming up. I believe is is either twenty 2020 twenty or twenty four. Abbott, uh, the governor Abbott is, uh, and of course his competition, his stiff his stiffest stiff stiff is stiffish. Uh, anyways, it's basically a uh, former uh, I guess former Texas House representative uh, Don Don Hoffines, and I like the guy's platform. And uh, the guy is a self-made millionaire. He he owns a whole bunch of dealerships here in Texas. <clears throat> yeah, the 
guy's a sleazy. Well, he owns a place, so I, I guess, you know, because I'd rather, you know, someone get into politics who has money, uh, that they made money off of business, you know, uh, rather than someone who's in politics where daddy became a millionaire because, you know, he's, he's in Congress for 30 years and made, and made uh, you know, made under, under the table deals and, and your family's now multi-millionaires because daddy's been in politics for 30 years. <clears throat> Pelosi, <clears throat> Chuck Schumer, <laughs> the Bidens. <clears throat> and yes, and I, and I, I admit, I, I forgot all about it. But yeah, Texas, Texas, we, we did have the uh, special election for the the vacant seat. Uh, I forgot the guy's name. Uh, You know, supposedly he passed away from COVID. He was he was a a, a House representative in Congress from Texas. Uh, <clears throat> so it looks like his wife decided to take up the mantle, uh, take up the gauntlet, <clears throat> and uh, she's probably going to win. Uh, she probably has won. I, I didn't check in. I didn't check up on that because they had a special election last week. <clears throat> and I told him, so, "Hey man, you know, <laughs> go to the polls." Uh, so basically, it came down to uh, to two Republicans. It was uh, the guy's wife and some other lady. And I'm not, I'm not a big fan of ladies in politics because yes, women do women do think on emotions first. You know, it's feelings first, and <laughs> you know, and then logic second. All right, well, I'm almost done with the cigar, so uh, cut the video here, and uh, you know, uh, hopefully the the uh, you know first cigar of the year has uh, gone pretty good. Uh, I, do, I don't feel any buzz, but of course, uh, I have a feeling if I smoke any more of this, uh, the buzz will probably uh, kick in, and uh, probably be going, oh man, you know what? I I, sh I should have quit about an inch and a half ago, and uh, now I gotta go lie down. I'm feeling a little you know green around the gills. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> hey, dog. <clears throat> you old hound dog. Oh, that's it. Put the cigar down. Hopefully, everyone's healthy. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. Uh, you know, enjoy the cigar. Enjoy your smoke. If you're a cigarette smoker, pipe smoker, you know, cigar smoker, uh, <clears throat> you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> almost forgot. Yeah, Biden's going to try to get rid of menthol. Yes, I don't know why he's trying to get rid of menthol, menthol cigarettes. Uh, that's that that's definitely that's that's affecting black folks. <laughs> yeah, every every black person I know who smokes, they smoke menthol. So I don't know why Biden wants to get rid of menthol cigarettes, but uh, uh, but he does. I guess I guess someone in his administration whispering in his ear, hey, hey, get rid of menthol cigarettes. I want those black folks smoking. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. But enjoy your menthol cigarettes while you can, you know, before Big Daddy gets rid of it. And, uh, you know, just like us cigar smokers, you know, we, I think it was around 2012, 2013, you know, we uh, we had to fight the uh, the cigar tax. Yeah, they, they were going to, on top of the tobacco tax that you're paying, the high tobacco tax that you're paying on, on cigars, no, they wanted to add a specific cigar tax. Uh, luckily, that guy, of course, cigar, cigar smokers united got together, and uh, the bill got shot down in the house. And they they haven't spoken they haven't spoke of it since. But uh, who knows? It uh, with this menthol uh, uh, ban that they're they're trying to come. With. I don't think that's going to pass the house either. Uh, <clears throat> I think there might have been a, an executive order that Biden signed, <laughs> where he'd been you know, banning mental, mental cigarettes. Uh, well, anyways, thanks for watching and have a good one. <clears throat>